Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, 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 who would knew the Russians are such fast learners? Well, it didn't take them long to borrow from the West the fact-checking thing. Uh, remember how these guys, if they don't understand something, they fact-check you and then say, well, that, no, no, that's not factual, without understanding what the f you are talking about. It happened to me. Because... When you bring things together and you bring a conclusion, they say, a fact checks, based on what? On, on the evidence I have, reach a conclusion and you say that's inaccurate? How can you fight it? Is anybody going to debate me? No. There's a, I don't know, 27-year-old guy over there saying, oh, um, uh, uh, no, I can't find that answer. No, that's wrong. That's fact checked. So what happened here? The Russians are fact-checking the Kinzhal downing allegedly by the Patriot, American Patriot, systems in Kiev. Remember that? Uh, first they said, well, it's not a Kinzhal. Then they said, it is a Kinzhal. And then it's not a Kinzhal. And then it is a Kinzhal. The expert, it is a Kinzhal. Now, just to start with this, the Patriot systems do not have the required specifications to hit a Kinzhal. All right? It's like, I don't know, you tried to shoot down a, uh, a missile with a slingshot. I'm exaggerating, but you get the analogy, okay? That's kind of like that, because first you don't see it, right? Or well, I'm trying to block woo, a bullet that comes towards me. I remember when I was a kid, it was a conversation. Do you think that Bruce Lee could parry or block a, uh, a bullet? Yeah, I think so, yeah. The problem was not that he could not move that fast. The problem is that he couldn't see the bullet. That's the first thing. Let's start with that one, okay? So the same here. The Patriots are fast, but if you don't see what you're shooting at, you can't possibly uh, shoot it. So anyway, let's go uh, to this little article here coming from Russia Today. And they're going to fact check uh, the claim. Remember, this comes from Russia Today. The Russians kept quiet. That happened uh, allegedly on the 4th. We are on the 10th. So it's Six days, all right? So in six days, the Russians say, okay, now I think we should just uh, give an answer. Strange, but anyway, let's see what the argument is. And their argument is, how should I put it, uh, technical. That is, Bruce Lee could not possibly see the bullet coming. And that's a fact, you know, because of the frequency and uh, speed, could not see it. So that's exactly the point uh, the Russians are making. Yes, the Patriot uh, uh, radars are good, but they are too slow for that. So they cannot pinpoint the data and send it and shoot it. That's the first one, the radar. And the second one, how can you shoot with something slow, something fast? It's not going to catch it. Well, it depends if it comes like this and you're capable of getting its coordinate and you hit in front of it. Yeah, and you meet it, you can do that. But first you have to be able to um, see it. And the Russian says, their radar cannot see it. They're not good enough. Uh, okay, this is what the Russians say. I'm going to use their technical, you know, as I said before, the laws on nat of nature do not bend for me or for you because we want to make a point. They are the same for all of us. So, Sputnik, obviously, right? Uh, 10 hours ago, today on the 10th of May 2023. Fact check. Ooh, I love that. Ukraine didn't shoot down Russia's Kinzhal hypersonic missile. All right, now, I look in at this. If this is a Kinzhal missile, just, j just for you and I, this doesn't look at all with the pictures these guys are posting. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that. You see how pinpointed it is right here? I'm going to show you the Kinzhal these guys say they shut down. All right, ready, my friends? Here it is. This is a video. These are some pictures of the so-called Kinzhal. Do you notice something at these pictures coming from the Ukrainians? Uh, I think it's Ukrainska Pravda right there. You see right there, Ukrainska Pravda? They don't show the tip. Look, they cut it short. Now, I don't know. I'm just saying, look at this shape, okay? Take a look at it very nicely. I don't see the tip for whatever reason. And then I go to the second one. Again, I don't see the tip. And then I'm going down and it's a video. You will not see the tip. Somehow they stop at the tip. Why? Let's see. Ready? Hey. Uh, 
Oops. Again. That's all. That's all they show right here. You see over there? And now let's see the other fact check. Right? You can see, well, it looks like that. Oh no, it looks like that. But I don't think it looks like that. But anyway, I'm not an expert. Let's start with that one. Okay, I'm not an expert. I'm just having questions if that what it is over here. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Okay, let's go back to the Russians. I, I just had to show you that and you make your, I think I had some other pictures somewhere, but I couldn't find them showing the tip. I think the first pictures, but let me see if I find them though. All right, this is what I found. Initially, this is what they showed. All right, this is what they showed. Again, this is coming from Ukrainska Pravda. Media suggest based on the photo that Kinzal missile shot down over Kiev for the first time. Okay, this is what they showed. <laughs> that's a round tip. I don't know what you, I don't know if that you think that's the, the Kinzal or not in the football field, okay? Now this is again, that's round over there. Look at this one. It's like totally different one. And this is what the Kinzal looks like. Or let's go back to this one right here. Anyway, let's move on. The Kinzal is capable of flying at least five times the speed of sound, which helps it to remain invulnerable to enemy air missile defense systems. Okay, they claim this, they can claim whatever they want. So let's see what is their argument. What are their arguments? It is impossible to shoot down the Russian hypersonic Kinzal ballistic missile with a US-made surface-to-air missile SAM, all right, SAM, Patriot MIM-104 system. Moscow-based military expert Alexei Le Leonkov told Sputnik debunking Kiev's recent claims. All right, let's see what you got. He explained that the SAM's radar cannot track the Kinzal due to a speed limit for the intercepted target of up to Mach 3. Is it true? Hey, experts, is it true? Or he just makes shit up? No. I'm quoting, when the Ukraine use a head-on Patriot missile, they cannot give target designation to anything that flies faster than Mach 3. In case of Patriot missile flying in pursuit, pursuit of the Kinzal, the interceptor should fly at least 1.5 times faster than the Russian hypersonic missile, the expert pointed out. Makes uh, sense, logical, but here, when they use a head-on Patriot missile, they cannot give target designation to anything that flies fast enough. So that means when, this is what the, the guy claims, when the rocket is coming towards and they're here, they're here, they're here, in order to send something that doesn't have to fly that fast. He said, if, if it's come head-on, head on, head, head on, head on you have in this you are sh you have a uh, not that much speed in your rocket you can do it but they said they don't see it like a bullet bruce lee would not be able to block that bullet because he doesn't see it now he said if they somehow saw it from behind after the pass and they saw it somewhere even if they passed the kinzal their rocket should have been 1.3 faster so catch us up with that one than the kinzal they don't have that so his point is radar could not intercept it and if they intercept it from the side in order to send the missile it has to be 1.3 faster now you tell me is that true i don't know i'm just reporting it makes sense but i think that i don't know i don't know if it's true i'm just reporting okay he suggested that a recent media report about the patriot system allegedly downing a kinzal had emerged due to lack of results from work of the Patriots, which is true, which were earlier supplied to Kiev as part of Washington military assistance. Oh, this channel cannot be displayed because it violated local laws. That means they, the, this whatever I'm using, the mass media, doesn't allow me to see what was over here because too much freedom hurts me. Leonkov's remarks came after the Ukrainian Air Force spokesman Yuri Gnat admitted that his country's combat arsenal was not enough to counter the Kinzhal missiles. When? When did he say that? And I'm quoting, there are few weapons in the Ukrainian arsenal capable of shooting down a KH-47 Kinzhal missile. The Patriot has never worked with such a type of target as the KH-47. We know that. They, 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 they know that, they said it. Only the Ukrainians said, yes, they can do it, which is why it's too early to rejoice, end quote. He said in a nod to reports about the alleged downing of the Russian hypersonic missile by the US-made SAM. 
Ukrainian Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov, who doesn't have any training of any kind, I mean, yeah, he was in the army because he had to be in the Soviet Union, did not think twice about commenting on the reports as he tweeted. And I'm quoting, thanks to the US Patriot air defense systems, a Russian Kinzhal missile had been shot down, end quote. He went even further by claiming that without the support of our friends, the impossible becomes possible. Jesus Christ, this guy is a witch doctor. This is a guy who works with images and symbols. He is just a shaman. An, an apparent ref reference to the US military assistance to Ukraine. Well, let's say, let's say, uh, as I said, I, I'm just getting both informations. And this guy, Reznikov, uh, doesn't have to have, uh, as I said, I doesn't have any training, because I don't have any training either in this kind of issues. But I'm using my eyes, I'm using whatever these guys are saying, and I'm trying to make, you know, a, uh, I would say, uh, come to a conclusion, or at least report what I see. And yeah, I understand our uh, abilities are limited, okay? And with this, move on. What is Kinzhal missile? The KH-47M2 Kinzhal NATO, reporting name Kiljoy, is a Russian nuclear-capable hypersonic ballistic missile that has a range of more than 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. The KH-47 is capable of traveling at least five times the speed of sound, or Mach 5, which is a definition of hypersonic. The missile can reach a top speed of Mach 10. Can reach a top speed. All right, that's 12,250 kilometers per hour, or 7,612 miles per hour, while also performing evasive maneuvers, which helps the Kinzhal to be virtually invulnerable to enemy air missile defense systems. So not only that it goes fast, but it can change trajectory depending on whatever comes towards it. With the weapons advancement man maneuvering capabilities, high precision and hypersonic speed, some sources refer to the Kinzhal as the carrier killer, due to this purposeful ability to disable or possibly even sink a hypothetical 100,000 uh, 100, ton aircraft carrier with a single strike. So, I don't know my friends, this is what they say, you have a brain, you have eyes, and you uh, can read, obviously, so you make your, up your own mind. Now, I give that uh, expert, the Russian expert, this. If Patriot radar has only the capability to 3 Mac, that's definitely not possible. So, what you can see, you can defend from, okay, in this case. Rusli, oh, okay, the first one. The second one, uh, if you don't have a fast rocket to intercept it, you is no way you can catch it, okay? Because if you don't see it from t from time, oh, I see it from there, coming, 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 coming. Now, boom, if I can't see it coming, I can't send anything to intercept it. Once it got parallel with me, I'm done, because I can't catch it. Logical, logical. Did they think about it? I think they did. Now, your turn. This is my uh, assessment where I think it's not impossible. I don't know how, but it's not impossible. Probable, I don't know, I give her, I give this 5%, maybe even less. I, let's give it 5% is good enough. Not impossible, but very, very high probability. It's up to you to dig into it. We don't have to um, dispute whatever uh, I say. I mean, you, you, you can, it's up to you, it's your time, but uh, it, it's just, you know, you find the answer for yourself. And if you find an, a reasonable answer, yeah, please let us know. But I want to know, I want to know. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.